Hey YouTube, I'm gonna make a lip smacking meatloaf. I'm having potatoes too. I, I probably won't just, I'm just gonna bake the potatoes with some butter and seasoning on those. But yeah, I'm making my mic, lip smacking meatloaf and I have, this is the easiest way to do it. You get your red peppers, your onions, and your green peppers already chopped up. Woohoo! I always get the woohoo specials. But if you can't get it, just buy them. Or if you wanna cut them yourself, cut them. But I gotta cut them smaller. So that's the part I'm going to do here now, is to cut them smaller than they are. Then I'm going to rinse them off after I cut them smaller. J3 in the background running around. He need to calm down. I was just trying to check if my towel was paused. Uh -huh. I don't okay. Know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You just cut these into little small pieces like that. Since it's already cut, this makes it a lot easier for you. But if you got a food processor, just throw your red pepper and a half of a red pepper, half of a green pepper, and half of an onion in a, in a food processor. And that's a lot easier, too. I have one, but I don't. it's not hooked up because I don't have enough counter space. So I just chop stuff my, with myself till I get more counter space. Or until I get a KitchenAid that has the food processor on it. Attachment. Yeah, chop it up, chop it up. See how easy that makes it when it's already chopped for you. Okay. Two point this is two point two six pounds of um ground beef, so two and a quarter pounds of ground beef. And I just finished chopping the vegetables and rinsing them off. As I said, use like a half of a small onion, half of a green pepper, half of a red pepper, red bell pepper, bell pepper, green red bell pepper. Okay, you got that in there. I got two eggs. Two eggs. I have three pieces of white bread. That I'm gonna crumble up, put in here three slices of white bread, and just crumb, break it into pieces and crumble it up. Put it in here, break it as small as you can into pieces so you don't have big chunks of bread inside of your meatloaf. You want to break it, crumble it up, or you can just use all bread crumbs. But I like to use both bread and bread crumbs. And this meatloaf is very, very quick, a very quick meal to make, very easy to make, very simple as well. Okay. You ready to eat this meatloaf, J3? I am. All right, then I'm gonna put some Italian breadcrumbs. Italian bre style breadcrumbs. My mom has that. Uh huh. And I would say about a cup, but it might be about a half a cup. Just, yeah, about a half a cup Italian style breadcrumbs. That should be enough of those. Then put Worcestershire sauce. I put Worcestershire sauce in my meatloaf. It gives it a good flavor. Just, just as as it's to taste. So whatever, how much, ever much you want to put. I would say it's about a fourth a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, and then I need ketchup. I got regular ketchup. And I put a lot of ketchup on the inside and the outside. So you take your ketchup just in the bottle, just squeeze it on in. That's about a cup. You're going to put about a cup of ketchup on the inside. And I got some onion powder, even though I got onions, put a little bit of onion powder, 
have some black pepper. I put a lot of pepper. You put how much you want. I say put about a, a teaspoon of each or a half a tablespoon of each. And a little bit of paprika, which is like a little bit, just a couple of sprinkles, not even a tablespoon. But a black pepper and onion powder and garlic powder, you want to put at least about a half a tablespoon. At least. At the least. If you don't have garlic powder, you can use uh, minced garlic. I'm using minced garlic. About a tablespoon two tablespoons minced garlic yeah two tablespoons I love garlic if you don't love garlic like that then don't put to put a tablespoon and if you have garlic powder put a teaspoon of garlic powder if you don't have real garlic yeah, a teaspoon of garlic powder teaspoon up to a tablespoon you have much garlic you like flavor wise and that's all the ingredients and now I'm gonna mix it together with my hands the part I hate take all those ingredients and just mash them together it is so cold because this meat is cold and it should already smell good you should already smell it even though it's not even cooked, it should smell good just from you mixing all that together. The Worcestershire sauce and the ketchup and the peppers, seasonings, it already should smell like it's cooked. And it should be nice and moist. And then it's ready. Once you get it all mixed like this, it's almost ready to uh, mold and bake. Put the oven on 350 and bake. Should have to cook for about 45 minutes. We will see how long it takes. So cook it for about 30 minutes and then put the ketchup on the top of it and cook it some more for 40, I mean for 15 more minutes. So you put that ketchup in it, so you're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes and then you're gonna take it out and put ketchup on the outside of it. Get the pieces I dropped. Okay. Now we're ready to mold it and put it in the pan and put it in the oven. Pause. I'm using, and I'm using an aluminum pan. I'm molding it a little bit. So before you take it out so it can come out in one piece and make it easier for you to mold once you put it in the pan. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it. See, that makes it easy now. I just gotta finish molding it. Finish molding the meatloaf. That looks good. Yep, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Smash it down. Got a lot of meatloaf here in the people. Got some to share. Y'all got taste of vision or smell of vision? Gonna be a good meatloaf, folks. All right, this is ready to go in the oven. Looks like a giant. Boys. Okay, I'm pouring some of this oil out. Don't pour it all out, but some of this oil and fat. It's been in there 30 minutes, probably a little bit over, because it's basically cooked, but I'm gonna put it back in there. You want it to be brown before you put the ketchup. Okay, that's good enough. And I could have put more bread because that would keep it from breaking, but it's gonna cook some more, so it should be fine once I put this ketchup on it and let it get crispy. So I'm gonna put the ketchup. So you're gonna put like another cup or about a half a cup, half a cup, half a cup to a cup on the outside. Cause you're gonna smear this all over the outside and I'm running out of ketchup. There we go. Yeah, you need to basically buy a whole bottle of ketchup for this if you don't want to use all your ketchup. All right, then I'm just gonna smear that around. You just smear this on the meatloaf like this for the top coating.
So yeah, use more bread. I didn't have any more bread if you want it to be really thick. But once this cooks all the way and this ketchup crispens up, it crispens up a little bit, it should be fine. It'll be fine to cut. I'm gonna put some more ketchup on this. Try to get what little I get left out. <laughs> Some people use tomato sauce and tomato paste, but I found that ketchup is much better for me. If you don't like ketchup, use tomato paste on the inside of the meatloaf and tomato sauce a little bit on the inside and put you some tomato sauce on the outside of the meatloaf. And well, make a mixture of tomato sauce and tomato paste. Put some on the inside and some on the outside, like, just like this. If you don't like ketchup. But if you like tomato sauce and tomato paste, you should like ketchup as well. And this is how you want it to look. Put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. She coming here at 9.30. Can you, can you make sure they eat over here? The finished product. The final product and going on my YouTube. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Her meatloaf. He's eating his. Yeah. So yeah, we're about good. to grow up. And she got a piece on some bread. How's the final product? She says it's the bomb. So y'all heard it from the, them.